What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. So today for y'all, I actually do have an early review and I've been seeing people make videos of this one and I've been watching them and I've been very curious to see them in hand just to get a feel of how they look. And I must say they actually do look pretty good in hand. So if you have not checked out the title yet, I have with me today the Air Jordan 1. This is a women's release, but this is the Nostalgia. Or if you haven't heard another name for them, you have heard the Chanel. So very curious to see how the how y'all feel about these. But as always, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Hope y'all enjoy this early view, but let's get it. Now, real quick, I had to jump in here before I forget. But of course, y'all already know when it comes to these early pairs, go ahead and hit up Perfect Fit Cakes and Kamikaze Cakes on Instagram. Y'all have had me shout them out countless times before. Y'all will continue to hear me shout them out again in the future. If you're looking for early pairs, if you're looking for stuff that has recently released, go hit them up on Instagram. They can get you right. Y'all see they get me right all the time. So go ahead and check them out. So jumping into this early review over the Air Jordan 1 Nostalgia. Of course, we're going to start with the box. So you do have the women's Jordan box that we get with these. So you get the all red box with the black Nike lettering on here. Of course, y'all know I do like this box. I just I like when they switch stuff up on the Jordan 1 boxes. And this is one that we've been getting a lot of recently. Now moving to the label. The label reads W Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The colorway is light iron or varsity red sale. This is a women's size 10 uh, so eight and a half in men's I think I did that eight and a half in men's I think I did that correctly all right so moving to the inside that's the inside of the lid right there and then the normal paper that you get with Jordan ones so nothing crazy with these so overall that is the box like I said we've gotten this box before the red box before now moving to the shoes so this is the Air Jordan 1 Nostalgia or the Air Jordan 1 Chanel Give y'all a quick 360 on these. Now, release date on these is set for July 23rd. They were originally supposed to release back in February, but they got pushed back. Of course, y'all know with all the delays, that's how it's been for a lot of stuff. But retail price on these is 170 and like I mentioned earlier, it is a women's shoe, so they will be in women's sizing. And I want to say they'll be in extended sizes, but I cannot find anything to confirm that, so don't listen to me right now until I can like, fully confirm that they will be in extended sizes. But jumping to the review, we do have just a regular Jordan 1 outsole in that red colorway. So nothing different with these. And then moving up to the midsole, you do have an all white midsole. I believe they said sail on the colorway. Yeah, so uh, sail on the colorway, so sail midsole. So that wraps all the way around the shoe. And then continuing up to the upper, so with this upper, you don't, it is all leather. Uh, but you don't really have a tumbled leather with this one. You have more of a stiffer leather. Which honestly is not bad at all. It, it, it's a little bit better when you're breaking it in. It's not as soft. It doesn't crease as much. Or it just takes a little longer to crease. But like I said, it is an all leather upper. So you have a mixture of the white and then the red. Now, where you get the Chanel name from is actually the fabric that's on the shoe. So as you see, you don't have a regular leather Nike swoosh on these. And that is on both sides. You do see that fluffy or fuzzy material there but that is the chenille fabric that is on the shoe so something different with this one y'all know i love when they throw unique touches on these shoes and this is for sure something that is very unique especially when it is tied to the name like i mentioned chenille that is the fabric so that is what it is now moving to the laces these do already come with red laces in the shoe and they do come with additional laces which are attached to the other shoe so you get a pair of white laces with these and honestly, I think I would just stick with the red laces in the shoe. Y'all know I like when they, I, I normally just stick with the whatever comes laced in the shoe already. I rarely switch out my laces, but that's just how I am. Now, we do have that iron ore uh, wings logo there. It is in that gray. And you do see that gray wrapping around the ankle collar as well. 
So that's only back there. And then of course you do see a hint of the gray right under the Wings logo right here. Now jumping back to the tongue, you do have a corduroy tongue. And that is on both shoes. You have that same corduroy tongue in that light iron colorway, or that gray colorway. And then moving to the tongue tag, you do have the Nike Air written on the tongue tag in red. And it is gray. Um, the color of the tongue tag is gray. Now I will say fill in this tongue, it is a little bit stiffer or thicker compared to a different uh, Jordan 1 tongue. So maybe something to watch out for. I don't think it will really mess with the fit that much. So nothing much to think about with that one. So moving to the inside of the shoe, you do have a regular cardboard shoe tree. So quick through 60 of that. And then continuing on, on the insole, uh, you do have a gray insole with the Nike Air in red. Of course, you do see the size sticker there as well. And then you do see that uh, gray color on the sock line as well, and that wraps all the way around the shoe. Now, overall, that is the Jordan 1 Nostalgia. Like I mentioned, not a bad shoe at all. And I'm curious to see if it will come in extended size. Like I said, I tried to find information on if it was, and I just could not find anything to say if they would be in extended size or not. But I can confirm that they will be in women's sizes. So, of course, ladies, if you're interested in, interested in these, these are in your size. Now, one thing that I am curious about is how well these will do. One, not because it's a bad shoe, but because, of course, we have the Reimagine Chicago set to come out a little bit later this year. So I can see people passing up on these to get the Chicago ones that are set to come out. So I'm curious to see just how things will play out. Now one thing, I, one last thing that I do want to mention on this one, these do come with a hang tag. Of course you just have the regular metal chain with these. Now this hang tag also has the chenille fabric on there. So this is what that hang tag looks like. And it does come in this little pouch. So I did already take it out the pouch. but very nice sturdy pouch that this hang tag does come in and then like I mentioned this is the um, hang tag that is on the shoe and then this is the back just the white on the back but just sticking to that chenille fabric that is on the Nike swoosh so I do like that they included the same fabric from the Nike swoosh on the hang tag as well now like I mentioned that is the shoe overall let me know in the comments how y'all feel about these is this something you want to cop pass do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know how y'all feel about these. I think if they did come in extended sizes, I may try and grab a pair. Would I keep them? I don't know. It just kind of be a wait and see just how I'm feeling throughout as days pass if I actually do like them. Um, but I would just cop them if I get them for retail just to have them in the collection for now. Especially because it's something different with that Nike swoosh. Something we haven't seen in a while. Something unique for people to have. And like I mentioned, I'm sure the ladies will enjoy having a red Jordan 1 that they can rock. I can see a lot of outfits and styles being made with these. So, yeah. So, let me, like I said, let me know how y'all feel about these in the comments. Is it a pass? Is it a, is it a wait for something else? Are you more interested in the Chicago 1s instead of these? Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments. As always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button on the notification bell so you can stay today when I post new content. And as always, hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.